Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my deck of panning um, update number five. I'm pretty sure. I just checked and I already forgot. I'm pretty sure it's number five. Um, this will be my last update because in December it will be the finale for 2023 and then we'll start a new round next year, I'm assuming, because this is like the third year this project has been going on, I believe. So I always leave all the information in my description box that this project was um, started by Emily from Emily and Max. And there's a game board, we shuffle cards, we pick a card that corresponds to a prompt on the game board for a product that we want to work on. Um, and it's inspired by Books with Maddie, which is a booktuber who I also link in the description box. So let's just get into it. Um, do I have to say anything else? I don't think so. Uh, it's the 19th of November when I'm filming this, so I'm actually on time for a update. And I'm hoping to get this video up very soon because um, I haven't filmed in a while. <laughs> I've been really busy with my craft fair, which happened last year as well, where there was like a period where there were no videos because I have trouble like focusing on different hobbies. <laughs> at the same time. I have many hobbies, but I I find it hard to do them all at once, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. So, I'm going to so I'm looking at my computer screen and I'm going to pull up my Excel that tells me I have two products to roll out today, which is very fun. But I already had eight products <laughs> in this project um, because of like adding some just because I felt like it, but also from getting the prompt add a new product. So we'll see what happens today. But um, I'm just gonna go in order of what it says in my Excel sheet. So we always start with this and I feel like I never get any progress on it. My, um, the Queen palette from Eloise. I rolled this for the prompt Indie. By the way, there's a leaf blower in the background. I'm sure you can hear it. It's very irritating. My next door neighbor is obsessed with his leaf blower and I have to film videos today and it seems like it's his like I don't know, the day where he's doing the most leaf blowing ever. So I I hope it's gonna stop soon. Um, yeah, so the Eloise, the Queen palette, <clears throat> I still have only used this twice. It looks like this, it's a jewel toned, colorful, somewhat palette, but mostly like pink and purple. Um, I only have a five use goal on this, but in my head, I'm like, every time I use it, I have to do a full look with this palette. And I've only done two looks. So, yeah. Three more uses <laughs> on that. If you guys don't know, I mentioned in other videos, but the way I do my makeup, because I'm working on so many things at once, um, I actually roll for the palette that I'm going to use that day. Unless I am you know, wanting to do something very specific, but yeah, usually I roll, so it just happened that I haven't rolled for this one much. Um, yeah, the next product is this little duo from Touch and Soul. This was rolled in for the prompt metallic because it's a metallic liquid eyeshadow on one side. Well, it's not very liquid anymore because it's very old. <laughs> and the other side is like a flaky glitter topper type situation. Um, I've also used this twice out of the five times and I really need to use it more because I have, I mention this in every deck of panning update that I have five of these and they're all, well, I bought them all in a pack so they all came at the same time so they're all, equally as old. So yeah, need to get around to this. Um, the next product is for the prompt Indie. 
and I pulled the Odin's Eye um, matte lip stain in the shade Ripe Papaya. I love this color. It's like a burnt orange, if you can see. Um, but I've only used this twice as well, out of the five times. I feel like I've used it three times and maybe I forgot to mark it down. But either way, I'm fine to use it another three more times because I like the shade and I like the formula. I like to wear this like in a very thin layer and then it's like really a stain because that's what it is. It's a matte lip stain. Um, if you put a lot on, I don't know. I just like it thinner. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, yes, I'm trying. Why am I so rushed? I need to calm down. I think the leaf blowing has stopped. I think that was very irritating to me because it was like non-stop. Like he was just going <laughs> for like half an hour. Okay. Um, yes, the next product is one that I'm rolling out. My Rare Beauty Power Boost. This has become like my favorite bronzer, like in general, I think, um, because it's just so easy to use. Like it's one of these like sticks, but it's very creamy, but not in a greasy way. Um, yeah, it's just really nice. And I like the shade, it's not too much. I feel like it's a all year round type shade because of how it's just kind of neutral. So yeah, I've been loving this. And I rolled this in for the prompt Influenced because I was influenced to buy it from so many good reviews and I see why. So I have actually used this, I have 12 times written down. I only had a 10 use goal, but I kind of use this like every time I do my makeup. <laughs> so I really need to focus on other things. So I stopped counting at 12, but I know it's more than that. But I haven't like, I don't know, what do you do with these? Like, do they just become flat and that's how you use it? Because it's still kind of round, but I don't know if you can see the sides um, kind of worn down, I guess. And I love this packaging because it clicks, which makes me think it's staying fresh, you know, because it's a cream product. So yeah, rolling that one out. Um, then for the prompt double ended slash duo, I have my Wander Beauty dual lipstick. So I've only used this five out of 10 times, which is not great because it's not really a shade. It's more like a summer shade. Well, it's two shades. So this is one of them. Um, that's the shade. Nikki Beach. Did I say this is the Wanderlust dual lipstick? And then the other shade is also a pink, but more neutral, I guess. That's the shade BB. Um, I do really like this. I like both ends. I just feel like it's more, like I said, summery, but I'll try to use it five more times. Maybe I can mix it with like a more brown lip liner and see how that goes. So yeah, there's that one. Um, then for the prompt blush, oh, I forgot to pull this out. Um, it's my Hourglass Dim Infusion, right? Yeah. Um, this is the Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion. It's just a very light kind of blush, but I like it. I, I mentioned this before, like it looks like nothing in the pen and even if you swatch it with your finger, you're like, what is this? But when you put it on the face, it, it's very nice. It gives like a nice natural glow, which is the point of these like ambient lighting blushes. Um, I have used this for about the 10 times, so that's gonna stick around, but that's fine because it's not like seasonal specific to me. Um, the next product is the second one I'm rolling out and it's for the prompt out of control category and that is for me, well, many categories, <laughs> but 
specifically setting spray. This is my Milani Green Goddess Hydrating Facial Mist. And I stopped counting at 11 uses. I had a 10 use goal. This is also something I use every time I do my makeup because I'm not working on any other sprays, right? Yeah. And this is like not specifically a makeup setting spray. So I've even used it like just when I'm sitting at my desk here when I'm working. It's just like refreshing. So yeah, I've used it m many more times actually. So I can put this back. This has cannabis sativa seed oil in it. Um, I have noticed like if you put maybe like a very full face of makeup and like a you know foundation and everything and then you spray this on like too close it's gonna melt your makeup <laughs> because the first ingredient no sorry the second ingredient is hydrogenated castor oil so it's very oily but for someone with dry skin I like that but it's just a word of caution I don't even know if this is still available um, in Canada, we have a very small Milani section in the drugstore, and I feel like I haven't seen this lately, so yeah. I don't know, but I like it. It's just you have to be careful when you're using this to set your makeup. It's really more like, it says, a hydrating facial mist than anything. Um, yes, and my last product is for the prompt highlight, so very, you know simple it was a highlighter that i pulled in and i think i rolled for this with my tiny decisions app because i can't make decisions without it <laughs> so it's my color pop midas shell super shock highlighter quad so i didn't roll in a specific shade you can't really even see the different shades can you um but there there's like you know more basic highlighter shades and then there's a purple and a pink and I like this I just find um this this super shock highlighter in this packaging is I feel like it's harder to pick up on a brush than it is in when it's in like the normal packaging I don't know if that's in my head or if they did something different to have it in this packaging so I feel like I haven't found the best way to apply this, but I do like it. So yeah, I'm fine to use this eight more times. <laughs> I've only used it twice out of 10. This is another thing, it's more summery to me, but like I said, there's two kind of like basic shades at the top, which I can use any time of year. So that's fine. And that was everything. So yeah, to recap, the two products I'm rolling out, the Rare Beauty Power Boost and the Milani Facial Mist. So that leaves me with um, six products. So I'll, I'm going to pick another product um, and we'll see. Usually I end up picking two. I always say I'm just going to pick one, but then it's too exciting to like get a new prompt. So we'll see what happens though, because if it's add a new product, <laughs> I definitely will not be picking two. So as per usual, I have my Dragon Ball Z cards. I've already shuffled them because I'm horrible at shuffling and I don't want to have to edit out me being weird. Um, and I took out one Joker because there's two Jokers in this deck and you only need one. And yeah. I think that's it. So I'm going to pull up the game board, which um, Emily um, shuffles every 10th of the month, I believe. So the prompts are never like exactly the same, except for the ace, the jack, the queen, and the king. Those stay the same throughout the year. And if you get the joker, it's, are you joking? And you have to pull a product that you know you'll never pen or that you really don't want to pen or yeah i'm sure you know by now because it's november and <laughs> if you've been following this project like it's been going on like i said for like three years so anyway i think i'm gonna pull from the top yeah that's what i do normally 
and we got the three of hearts so the three of hearts is newest that's fun okay newest so newest product like in general i guess which could be anything if you wanted it to be it could not even be makeup it could be skincare or hair care i think i'm gonna do makeup just because that's fun and i have a overflowing new makeup drawer so that's good <laughs> okay should we do another one and risk everything why not so i'll pull from the top again this is the Ten of Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds. Birthstone. Oh, I've never gotten, well, either of those prompts. So, Birthstone. So, my birthday is actually in November. It was on the 10th. What's my Birthstone called again? It's the, the orange one. I feel like there's many names for it and I never remember. Do I have any jewelry with it on? No. Um, but that's great because I love orange makeup. Topaz? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, but that's gonna be super easy, I feel, because I have a lot of eyeshadows I can pull with that shade. Maybe I even have products with the name of the stone. Yeah, so I'm going to think about this and I'll come back to show you the two products that I pulled. Okay, so I'm back with my two products and I'm very excited. So for the prompt newest, I just received my um, Boxy Lux now. What's it called now? Ipsy Icon Box and it was curated by Pat McGrath. So it was very exciting. And in the box, I received the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose Lux Quad in Eternal Eden. And this is my first uh, Pat McGrath Quad in like this packaging. Um, I only have her mini palettes and her holiday palettes. I've never bit the bullet and bought these like expensive, you know, heavy ones. Um, but I'm very excited. So, this is what it looks like. It's a very pink, purple kind of thing. I don't think this is like her special shade palettes, which makes sense because like it came in an icon box. And I think the price of these palettes in Canada is more than I paid for that box. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm still very excited to use this. The shades are Pink Mystique, Temptation, Earthly Delight, and Forbidden Fruit. So I'm going to bring this in. I am working on a lot of eyeshadow already, but this is my newest product. And it's the one I wanted to use the most from what I got in that box because I also received a uh, Pat McGrath Lux trance is that what it's called her lipsticks um but it's like a deep red so no and what else was in there um i got two um, lip oils from lys which was very exciting but that's not as fun you know lip oil like i don't need to put lip oils in a panning project because i use them all the time and there were some other things but they were all skincare so yeah, this is what I chose. Um, I think I'm just going to do a five use goal on this because I do have, um, I have another project specifically about eyeshadow, which I also have to update today. And yeah, I, if I put 10 uses on this, it'll be in here forever. And this is the last update, right? So really i hope to just use this once but i'll put five uses and then the other product um yeah so i had to look up what my birthstone was because i got confused and i realized why i was confused it's because there are two birthstones for november um one is topaz but topaz can be any color it's like a rainbow so 
<laughs> yeah. And the other one is citrine, which I knew, but for some reason I forgot what it was called. And I was just reading on Google and it was interesting because it said, yeah, topaz comes in a rainbow of colors. Citrine is prized for its charming yellow and orange hues. Both November birthstones are known to have calming energies while bringing fortune and warmth to the wearer. So I thought that was very fun. So I looked through my collection. I was like, I know I have multiple products called Citrine. So, um, and I for sure thought it was going to be a highlighter. And then it ended up being this. Um, this is my Becca Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette which I really like and there is a shade in here called Citrine and it's this um, yellow one so that's fun um, I am going to do five uses on this too because I have a lot of products uh, a lot of highlighters in projects um, but this looks like I'm going to love this actually so that's the shade blended out. It's very pretty. Okay, so yeah, those are my two products. Five uses on each. And we'll see what happens <laughs> in my finale in December. Hopefully I get around to filming that. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!